Hey everybody, I'm Creep Creeperson, and I'm here on Ultimate Toy Collector to tell you about some of the crazy toys I have and um, that I kind of grew up with and stuff like that. So today we're going to talk about Battle Beasts, and I don't know if you remember Battle Beasts or not, but it was back in the mid to late 80s when everyone loved their toys really tiny and kind of gimmicky and fun stuff, and so we're talking about Battle Beasts. And um, one of the cool things about Battle Beasts is that um, they're about this big, okay, and their arms, their arms shot across the computer screen. Their arms moved and they came with little weapons and stuff, <clears throat> but the neat little gimmick with these guys was that it was a, a wood, fire, water thing, like a Ram Shambo, uh, rock, paper, scissors kind of deal, and on the... On right here on their torso, they'd have a little black box, and you'd have to rub it to find out what their power was. So this one is fire. So you wouldn't know that until you got them and opened up the box. And so you had no idea who had what. And um, <clears throat> because back when I was a kid, we didn't have the internet and fun stuff like that, um, I had to name a lot of these guys myself. So, um, the first ones I got, I remember, were this guy right here. He was one of my favorites. I named him Razorback because he had razors on his back and all this fun stuff and on his shoulder blades and the crap. And, um, I believe they came in two packs. Um, they were a big popular line in Japan and then, um, Hasbro picked up the license for America <clears throat> and put them out. Um, but all the figures I had were in series two, and apparently this guy's name is Icky Iguana, okay, and it was super 80s with the light green and orange, and he was water. Most of the guys I had were water, and that kind of pissed me off because, you know, we're trying to do something, and this was another one of the first ones I got. I think I found him or something. I named him Zillion for some reason. I think it had something to do with a Sega game that I was all geeked out about at the time. Um, but his real name was Delta Chameleon. Ooh. And his chest piece little bumper thing here. Um, it's hard to find these guys with the things on them intact. But this one here, this is one of the first wave stickers. So it's really hard to see. Yeah, it already went away probably. It's like a... It's not colorful. It's just like a black, almost like a dot matrix looking deal. Um, and then I got this guy. He was pretty cool. I called him Octo. And deep down inside I was calling him Octopussy because of James Bond and because that word was dirty. So it looks like I'm rubbing his balls, but it looks like he's got a little cock and balls. Except the cock's on the bottom and the balls are on top. So that was kind of weird. And um, then he goes like, Urgh, like that. Um, and then I had him be partners with Squid. This guy who apparently, oh, this guy's name, by the way, is Octillion Octopus. And this guy, who I thought was a squid, isn't a squid. He is a... Um, cutthroat cuttlefish, okay? So, um, the company in Japan that had him, and he's fire, um, <clears throat> I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, it's like Tana or something like that. Um, and then this guy is another guy that I had, um, and I called him Molar, okay? But apparently his name is Minor Mole, and he was the only one I had that was wood, okay? Now the idea here is is that um, wood beats water, water beats fire, and fire beats wood, and that's how you would know how you got them and all that stuff. Now, the next batch of characters I'm gonna show you, this one was my favorite. Okay, I mean, he just looks badass. He's like, don't fuck with me, don't fuck with me. And I got a white crew cut. I didn't know what the fuck he was, but apparently he's a skunk. And his name is Putrid Skunk. I named him Overlord because he just looked like that badass of a dude. 
And um, I think I stole him from my friend. Not 100%. Um, and then there's this Jaguar guy. I called him Jag. And his name is... Um, Jaded Jaguar. Sounds like someone did a number on him. And he's fire too. And then the last character. And I think I won him from a friend. Like we would... I would trick friends into gambling me and stuff like that. And then this guy, who is fire as well, um, he's an armadillo with a little yellow cod piece. I think I just named him Jack or something stupid like that. I couldn't come up with a good enough name for the armadillo guy. But anyway, um, and they had weapons, but the weapons you would lose really easy. They were as big as they were, and you couldn't really do a whole lot. But, you know, like... These guys I had as a tag team because probably they were both purple. Because, you know, all, all little kids, you know, in the 80s, wrestling was huge. So, and, you know, I'm going to hit you with my big mole hand. <coughs> so, um, there's all that fun stuff. And they used to fight. And this was always good. Because this guy has this piece on him so he could, like, pick him up and go, I'm going to kill you all. Oh slow motion crash crash so that's how i would play with my toys i don't know what the hell you did but i was always bummed out because since he was kind of like the lion looking guy even though he's a jaguar i always made him the champion and that really made overlord really mad because he really thought he deserved it because he was the most baddest ass dude there was and you can't really argue with them, you know. And um, my Intercontinental Champion was usually Razorback because he kind of had that whole Ultimate Warrior, um, bright fucking light fucking shit going on with him, you know. So, I mean, on eBay, you know, these could go anywhere. I I've seen them not go at all, like a buck, you know. Can't even sell them for a penny. And um, some of them, like... Around Series 3, I think, because it was the Wood, Fire, Water, they released one character, Starburst Lion, or Pirate Lion, or something, and he had a fourth um, insignia, which was a Sunburst, and Sunburst beat everybody. So now you have this one fucking character who could beat everybody, and it was really hard to get him. Um, they only did that in a very limited run. But, um, you know, these were cool. They... Their arms move. They came with weapons that you lose. I think I still have one weapon, and I think it's this guy's. Um, if I'm, and then a lot of times when I go to like garage sales and buy like boxes of toys and shit, I'll come across Battle Beast weapons all the time. Those sell pretty good on eBay, if you could find some of those. But I, and I'm really on the fence about selling my Battle Beasts off. You know, I really enjoyed these guys a bunch, and the sticker thing. I wasn't so hip on because all the guys I had for a long time were fire, so they couldn't fight each other anyway. So that was kind of a bunk deal. Oh no, he's got him by the nose. He's got him by the nose. Oh my god, oh my god, he's got him by the nose. And that's what I would do, you know, just a lot of good times like that. But yeah, so these are battle beasts, and there's a bunch. There's, I think there were 76 in the first three lines, and then the fourth series they came out with. Um, I can't remember if they were called Shadow something or if what they were, but basically they didn't have the rub thing anymore. They had orbs, or they were laser beasts, I think is what they were called. They had orbs, <clears throat> and if you looked into the orb, you could see what kind of thing they were. But they're really cool, and I dig little dudes that I could put in my pocket, so I always have. So um, I'll be back on here for UltimateToyCollector.com. Um and talking about more little toys. Uh, you can find out more about me um, at Creeperson um, on Twitter. Or you could hear my podcast, uh, Creeperson Cast, at CreepersonCast.com or on iTunes. Um, and listen to my music and buy my movies. And everyone's good. So take it easy. Right.